Jesus started his ministry on earth at the age of 30. He spent three years preaching God's love to the world and performing miracles. Jesus' 12 disciples knew he had promised to set up God's kingdom on earth. He was going to be the ruler of the world. Jesus started something amazing. One day, something terrible happened. Jesus was arrested, beaten, and sentenced to death. His hands and feet were nailed to a cross. The soldiers laughed at him and made fun of him. The disciples couldn't believe it. They expected Jesus to fight back and defeat his enemies. Jesus didn't fight back. Instead, he prayed for God to forgive the people who were hurting him. Sadly, Jesus died on the cross that day. The disciples were sad. They could not understand. They wondered, how could this be happening? Jesus started such an um, incredible ministry. He had promised to set up his kingdom, but now he is dead. The disciples surely began to lose hope. They thought it was game over for Jesus and his plans. They expected Jesus to save himself, but that didn't happen. Jesus' body was placed in a tomb and a large stone was rolled over the entrance. Three days later, some women came to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body with some perfume. Guess what they found? Jesus' body wasn't there, hallelujah. Only his grave clothes were. Wow, what do you think had happened? Suddenly, an angel appeared to the women and said, why are you looking for Jesus? He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. The women went to find the disciples to tell them the good news. Jesus isn't missing. Jesus is alive. Jesus later appeared to the disciples and many others, showing that he was indeed alive. Because Jesus is alive, we celebrate Easter. We celebrate because Jesus conquered death and the grave. Today, in your lesson, you are going to learn all about how, even when it seems like it is game over, God can come through with a victory. No matter what you are facing, it is never game over as long as God is involved. Hallelujah. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Pastor Tammy, and I just want to say that Easter is such a wonderful time of celebration. We have so much to be excited about. We have so much to be happy about on Easter. But there is another day that is part of the Easter weekend, and it's called Good Friday. Yeah, yeah, you all heard of that. It's called Good Friday. Does anyone know what happened on Good Friday? I'm gonna lean in a little bit so I can hear you. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. On the day we call Good Friday, Jesus died on the cross. Yeah, it was certainly a rough day for the disciples because Jesus was their friend. Jesus was their hero. Jesus was their mentor. And when Jesus died, it was the most horrible day for him. As you can imagine, the disciples aren't the only ones who have days like that. You and I also have days, bad days like that. In fact, life is filled with hard times. Let me say that again. Life is filled with hard times. Have any of you ever had anything bad happen to you? I mean, because we all have. I know I have. You too? Yeah, we all have. You might have had a family member that died that absolutely broke your heart. It like shattered your world. Maybe you got really sick and were in the hospital or someone you love got really sick and ended up in the hospital. It was very scary. You might have been bullied at school. And if you weren't bullied, maybe you know someone who's been bullied at school. Hard times aren't fun. We can't sit up here and say it. it is. Hard times aren't fun. We don't like it when bad stuff happens. We all wish we could just go about our lives with nothing bad ever happening. I know I would. But following Jesus doesn't mean that life is going to be easy. It doesn't mean that. Jesus told the disciples in John 16, that here on earth, we will have many trials. We have many sorrows. It happens. Bad things happen. Life is filled with hard times. Not only that, but sometimes life looks like game over. 
Let me say that again. Life looks like game over. When trouble comes into your life, it can really look like game over. When a bully at school just won't leave you alone, you've done nothing to them. It feels like it's the the most miserable day. It feels like game over. When your mom or dad loses their job, it can really look like game over. When Jesus was in the grave, hallelujah, it sure looked like it was game over. My goodness. After all, Jesus was dead, right? The disciples thought that he was going to rule and reign in their own way. But let's act like this water represents Jesus today. Okay, can we imagine that? This water, Jesus is the living water. (laughs) Just act like this is Jesus today. He was placed in a tomb because he had died on the cross. This is the tomb. Jesus is the water. We're putting Jesus into this tomb. You see that water? The living water being placed in the tomb. It clearly looked like it was game over for Jesus and the disciples, right? (laughs) It was a very, very bad situation. Jesus was dead. He was dead. He was in the tomb. Again, it seemed like it was game over for Jesus. But the disciples discovered that even when it looks like game over, it's really not over at all. It's not over. My gosh, early on that Easter Sunday, several women went to the tomb looking for Jesus's body because he was dead. He was in a tomb. They was looking for him. They wanted to pour some perfume on it to make it smell better because after all, Jesus was dead. They came to bring the perfume to anoint his body. But when they got there, guess what they found? (laughs) I'm listening. Yes, the tomb was empty. The tomb was empty. The stone in front of Jesus' tomb, yes, was rolled away by an angel and Jesus walked out alive. Remember, this is the tomb. We put the water in the tomb. But no, 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 that's not the end. He got up, all power, all powerful. Yes, King Jesus, the tomb is empty. He proved once and for all, hallelujah, that is not game over as long as God is involved. Yes, Jesus proved on Easter Sunday that even when it looks like game over, my God, God can bring the victory. Let me say that again. Even when it looks like game over, God can bring the victory. Mm, Who wouldn't serve a God like that? It was true for Jesus and the disciples. And it's also true for you too. Let that sink in. It's true for you too. That same power that raised Christ from the dead also live in you because you love God. You follow him. You accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So no matter how difficult the situation you are facing, no matter how it may look or how impossible it may seem, no matter how it may look like it's game over, it's not over. It's not over until God says it's over. My goodness. He can turn any situation around and bring the victory because he is the victor. And through him, we've got the victory. Just like he did by raising Jesus from the dead, God can turn your situation around too. That's it. He can turn your situation around too. Jesus got up and you too can get up from your situation. It is not over. It is not dead. Jesus is king. Jesus Christ is king. God, we just bless you, Father. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every child watching right now who think that is game 
over in their lives. Oh, Father, I pray that those who are in trouble, those who need you, Father, like the air that they breathe, God, remind them, Father, that you are all powerful. You are all knowing. You are everywhere at the same time. No matter how bad things look, you have a plan. You have the victory. You got Obashi Kanda, God. You bring us through every death situation. You said in this world, we have troubles. We will have trials. We will have sorrows. But the rest of it says, count it all joy. You have overcome the world. You've conquered death, hell, and the grave for our sake, oh Father. It is not over until you say it's over. We pray for miracle signs and wonders to take place in their lives, oh God. Show up in that situation in a special way. Let them know that you are near. Let them know that no matter what, you are close to them. You are near to the brokenhearted. You are near to those whose spirits are tr crushed, oh God. You will give them joy, unspeakable joy. We thank you for this lesson, oh God, because it reminds us that in spite of it all, no matter how things appear, no matter how things look, you have a plan. You will raise up every dead situation in our lives, oh God, so we can live and be with you, oh Father, live a fruitful life, be happy, have the peace, have the joy that surpasses all understanding, God. Thank you, Father, for the cross. Thank you for your blood that was shed. It is not game over. There's a, <laughs> there are great blessings on the way. We give you all honor, all glory, all praise for the great and mighty things of God you continue to do on our behalf. And it's in your precious son, Jesus' name, we all pray. Amen.